Hello and welcome to the video for Friday, April the uh, 17th, fourth, sixth grade, uh, covering the homework from lesson 10.1. So hopefully after watching the videos yesterday and practicing drawing shapes, everything kind of makes sense. If it doesn't, hopefully this part will help explain it a little bit better. And if you still need help, you can ask questions and I will be happy to help you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we were working with. And I have drawn the shape as best as I can. Uh, for each of these. So to start with, they want us to identify this. This would be a cube. Um, there's more than one way that you can draw this. The book um, has it written a little bit different. Um, but what I was thinking is if you were to take these four edges, fold them up and in, and then this part would close on top, that would match something that I've done as a craft in years of my life. Um, where you would take something and cut it out and make it into a cube. So that was the way that I chose to draw that. Uh, number four, we are going to have a triangular prism. Again, this is going to be our base, uh, our bases. And then we are going to have um, three <clears throat> rectangles. We are going to see that again when we get over to number two on the next page. Um, so number six, uh, Nina used plastic rectangles to make six rectangular prisms. Here's what a rectangular prism would look like. Um, pretend that this one is a rectangle and not a bad attempt at a square. This one I did a little bit better with. Um, but we are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six rectangles per rectangular prism. We are going to have six of these shapes. So that would give us 36 rectangles uh, to finish that. Number one, how many vertices does a square pyramid have? It would be five. So I've tried to draw the 3D model for this. And so this would be one of our points, and then here, and then here, and then here, and then where all four of our triangular sides meet at the top of that shape, that would be our fifth vertices, vertice, vertex, sorry. Vertices is plural, vertex is singular, so. Um, and then our last one, again, we would have a triangular prism, and here is what that particular box would look like. So hopefully that helps you uh, get an understanding of what we're working with. This should be a really short video. Um, and if you have any questions, again, please feel free uh, to send me a message on Google Classroom and I will be happy to help you with that. So I will see you again on another video um, or two more videos for today um, as we have a new lesson. So I will see you in the next video that you get to watch today. Have a good day.